Hey there folks, so uh, uh, thanks for, for attending this video. Today's video, we're going to um, go over an interesting process. First of all, we're using three different, uh, uh, several different technologies. We're using SharePoint as an ideation list for project intake. We're using uh, ultimately project online is where those uh, project intake items in that SharePoint list will be imported to. We'll be using Microsoft Teams uh, for collaboration and actually what will happen is we'll actually uh, present that SharePoint ideation list within a Teams uh, channel within a project management office team. And then lastly, we're going to use Flow to, to have some type of workflow in place. And what's going to happen is when a item is created in that SharePoint ideation list, what I want to have happen is an email notification be sent to the members of the uh, project management office via email with a link to the item. And then secondly, a post sent to the general channel within the project management office teams channel. Uh, so that's what the entire workflow is going to look like. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and, and get started. Now let's take a quick look at the uh, ideation list. So you can see I'm in my uh, project online environment here. This is my home page. I created a, a project intake menu up here and you can see I have two elements here. One is the create a proposal link. And this is the typical way to create a proposal in, in project online using the enterprise project types, right? Um, I'm not going to use that mechanism. I'm going to use a SharePoint list. And the reason you might want to use a SharePoint list is a couple reasons, depending on where you create it. And in my create, uh, case, I created it in a, a subsite. You can see there's the URL for the subsite, right? Under my PWA URL. Um, if you create it in a subsite and then a list within that subsite, uh, you can bypass, at least at this time, the need for a uh, project plan uh, license there, right? And the other reason you might use a ideation list like so is because if you have a lot of requests coming in that are going nowhere, you may not want to clutter your projects interview with lots of uh, clutter or lots of requests. Okay. Uh, so that's my list. Uh, like I said before, you, you can promote these to projects, right? So if you click on one of these items here, click on the item ribbon, you see the create projects button here in the project server section. When I click on that, it brings up a, uh, Handy little dialog box here. The column names, these are the column names in SharePoint, and then these are the column names in Project Web App. You can specify where they map to, right? So any fields that I have here, I want it to re-enter. I can have project attributes that match from system to system. I can specify which EPT it goes to, click the Create Project button, and wham, the project gets created in Project Align. Uh, it's really nice. I can do one, I can do five, I can do uh, 50 projects at one time. So it, it's a really pretty uh, neat way to initiate projects and project online. That's the ideation list. Uh, like I said, we're gonna start out with uh, with that project management office team. Guys, okay, so let's go to my team's environment. Here it is. And uh, what I wanna do is uh, create a new team. We'll create, uh, join a create team. Uh, we'll click on create. Create from a 365 group. And then we'll create my team. And I'm gonna copy settings from my Mark 8, where's my Mark 8, there it is. And uh, the only thing I care about is the settings. We're gonna call this Project Man Management Office. And we'll uh, go ahead and click Create. And my new team is gonna get created with some default settings in it. After it gets created, I'm going to go ahead and create a couple, um, actually not create, I'm going to add a couple new users to it, just so I have a couple others on the PMO team with me that can participate in fielding and triaging the different requests in here and so forth. Uh, so th that'll be how we get going here. <clears throat> okay, uh, start typing a name or a group. So we're going to add Bob and we also have Carly, we'll add them to the team. And uh, there they go, both added as members. And uh, you can see the thing I did here is I also brought over the tabs, right, that were uh, present. So it brings over the tabs and all the content, okay? There's my PMO team, right? Now, the, the thing that I wanna do is I want my ideation list here. Click on web, brings up the website part. I need to go back to my ideation list, grab that URL, go back to teams, idea let's see if we can get that right idea list paste in the url nobody's in the team right now therefore it really isn't very useful to, to paste that in there and there's my idea list and you can see it it puts the ideas right in there very nice and neat 
right? I have the same navigation that I do within uh, directly in the SharePoint list. All right, all so the same really neat things here that I would there. Uh, so that's part of uh, what I need to do here. So we have the idea list, PMO team, and we have our um, other ch channels here. So we're good to go with that so far. Now what I need to do is uh, we need to actually create a flow. Yeah, so I'm gonna go back here to my list and uh, let's exit classic because I'm gonna start the flow from within here. And uh, when I exit classic, it brings back the newer format and I click on flow. And what I can do is create a new flow. And uh, what I wanna do is send an email when an item is created in SharePoint, right? So let's do this. And what I'd rather do is bring up that big window here. So send an email when an item is uh, created in SharePoint. And there's a, a customized email here. I'm gonna see if I can just find the regular one. Send an email when a new item is created in SharePoint. So this, this one's just a little bit simpler. So click create on this one. SharePoint Outlook, <clears throat> it's uh, confirming connectivity. Click on continue. And there we go. So now we just have to specify some configuration info here. So, so what site is it? And it is my ideation list, right? So there's the URL for the ideation list. And then what is the name of the list? It's my idea list. Okay, so when a new item created, so that, that criteria is already created for me. This trigger event's gonna be triggered when a new item is created. And then uh, what it's gonna do is it's gonna send an, an email. And what did I say? I said project, right? So we said project management office. So there's project management office. That should be the distribution list. So, so what typically happens is when you create a, a team and you specify Office 365 group, typically an Office 365 group will be created automatically. And then the users, as you add them to the team, will be added to that group. So I'm gonna select it here, but then what I'm gonna do is go to my admin section and go to my groups in Office 365, just to confirm that I do have, uh, and there we go, project management office right there. It's an Office 365 uh, group. You can see the type. Who are the members? Uh, you can see it added Carly, it added Bob. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to that flow. Creating the flow, we selected Project Management Office. Uh, what do we want? I'm gonna go ahead and, and put in my own information. New idea, and I'm gonna put in title. Has been created. I'm gonna do the same thing down here. New idea, and then put the title again. Has been created. Navigate to the full item via the URL below. And then I can find the item URL up here. Link to item, right there, that's what we're looking for. Okay, so that, that should take care of my email criteria. And if I look at the flow checker, zero errors, zero warnings, uh, so far so good. And uh, what I can do is I can insert another action here. Remember we wanted two teams. And uh, what I wanted is to post a message. So we'll click on post a message. All I have to do here is navigate to the team. And if you recall, we're looking for my project management office. Do I want to post it to a specific channel? I'm going to post it to general. And uh, what's the bottom uh, body in the message here? New idea. And then again, go to the title. Has been created. Navigate to the idea channel to view the and full request. And uh, that's that's really about it. Okay, it's as easy as that. Uh, what's my flow checker say? Zero, zero. Looking good, all right? We'll save it again. Make sure we have all that info saved. All right, <clears throat> though we created the, the flow, uh, when a new item created in SharePoint, it's gonna post a message to the project management office general channel, uh, just a post in there. Uh, so the PMO folks uh, that are a member will see it. And then we wanted to send an email. All right, so let's go ahead and test this out. See how the flow works. We'll create a new idea. 
and let's create widget one two three four and i'm just not going to concern myself with the rest of the information click save and the minute i click save this flow should be triggered a couple things should happen general tab uh, we should eventually get a notification here in the general tab that a new item has been created. And again, this is an alert to all the members of right the project management office. If I were logged in as somebody else, that person would see the same thing here on the PMO office uh, team here and in the general tab, general channel rather. Okay. And there it is, new idea widget one, two, three, four has been created. Navigate to the idea channel to view the full request. Idea list, you know, of course, if I was a different person, I see that here. The other thing, email, there it is right there. New idea widget one, two, three, four has been created. Navigate to the full item via the URL. Um, this is the item URL, right? So, um, you know, we, we, we use it from the SharePoint list. So this will take me three uh, through the ideation list through PWA, right? So if you look at the PWA URL, if you wanted to actually go to the team, right? So instead of going to the list, so anyway, let me go back here. If I click on this, watch what happens. It's going to take me to the list, but it's going to take me via, right? Internet Explorer, not within the team's hub. If you wanted to, it to take you back to the item, um, you know, I, I could get reasonably close, right? So, you know, basically you can come in here and you can actually grab the tab from here. So copy link to tab. If I copied this link and I'm just going to bring up notepad, I'm not going to do any modifications here to my system. Uh, let's do that again. It was a little bit too quick for it. All right. So, so there's the, the interesting URL. So that would be the URL that I could grab. And um, if it were in the email and I clicked upon it in the email, it would bring me right here. And I would just have to remember the name of, of what the item is. Now I'm sure there's a way to, to create a uh, expression that would bring me to the list item. And maybe I'll do that in a subsequent um, video. But suffice to say, you know, that was basically creating our items. Um, I remember get, what we did is we utilized the three technologies we had teams, we had project online to a certain extent. We also utilized flow. Uh, so the one thing that we didn't show is how to convert these items to a project. So if we were looking at the widget, uh, so th here's the thing is that uh, I showed you before, let me go back to the browser without it being in the team's channel. Yeah, here's the thing. When I click on this item, single item here, CRM deployment, and I want to convert this to a project, notice that the navigation, the tabs are not here. And there's really no way to, to access that create project button. The only way I can do that is by returning to classic. Then if I click on an item, I can click on the items tab and there's that create projects button. And again, clicking that will bring up this uh, dialog box, which will allow me to click the create project button. So how do you do that when it's in the teams tab, right? So interesting. The way you can do that is if you click on lists and that will allow you to get to list setting, you can also do that this within the uh, team tab as well. But you go into the list settings and then advanced settings, go to the very bottom and list experience. You have to be in classic experience to be able to use that create projects button. So if I change the experience to classic for this list only, like so, click classic and then click OK. Now if I go back to the team channel and notice it's still in, in the new format, but if I refresh, Right, so now we're in the classic format. You'll notice I have the two tabs up top. Therefore, if I wanted to promote that to a project in Project Online, I can click on items here, create project, like so, and then it'll bring up the dialog box and allow me to create the project. Now, I'm not sure that this one will actually uh, create because I don't have all these, which are probably required fields filled out. Um, but we'll have to do that in a subsequent test, but that's how you would go about doing it. So I hope you learned something today. Uh, look for follow on videos to talk more about creating flows between teams and project online and SharePoint and so forth. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks for attending.